ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव इन आवर लास्ट क्लास इन डिटेल वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फोर ईयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव दीज टू डेरिवेटिव ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव ओके हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव इन आवर लास्ट क्लास वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल्ड अबाउट फोर ईयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव आज आई टोल्ड दैट फोर ईयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरिवेटिव एंड फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरीवेटिव आर एसेंशियल टू सॉल्व द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट ऑफ फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके एट दैट टाइम दीज टू थिंग्स विल बी रिक्वायर्ड ओके दैट मीन्स एक्सप्रेशन वॉट एवर वी फाउंड फ्रॉम साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरीवेटिव एंड फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ डेरीवेट वॉट एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे विल बी यूजफुल एट द टाइम ऑफ वेन एवर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एप्लीकेशन पार्ट ऑफ फोर ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडेज डेरीवेशन ओके we know that in general the fourier cosine transform of a given function any function suppose ft is written as fourier cosine transform will be applied over this uh, function will be written as 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity ft this function cos omega t dt in case of sin it will be sin omega t dt okay so this will be cos omega t dt now we have to consider the first derivative of this one or first order derivative of this ft will be f dash t then for your cosine transform if we are going to be operate or apply over this first order derivative of ft will be equal to 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity this is the function f dash t into cos omega t dt here we have to apply the by parts so as i told that if we are going to consider i let this is inverse logarithmic arithmetic trigonometric and exponential so ft is which function we do not know so only for that trigonometry will be considered here as the first function and f dash t is the second function so if we are going to apply the by parts over here for this integral then cos omega t will be the first function integration of 0 to infinity f dash t dt minus 0 to infinity derivative of this function d by dt of cos omega t into again integration of this function second function f dash t dt whole integration is there whole integration is here so dt okay see this step you can omit in your uh, exam but i suggest you write in your note fc so for that implies uh, for your cosine transform over f dash t will be equal to 2 by pi root of her. so here cos omega t as such we have to write and the integration of f dash t will be ft only the derivative will be removed and the limit we have to put 0 to infinity minus 0 to infinity cos omega t derivative minus omega sin omega t into here integration of f dash t will be ft dt okay so that implies fc f dash t equal to 2 by pi root over and here we have to put the limit first we have to put a uh, infinite so here this will be cos infinite into f of infinite minus cos 0 f of 0 okay <coughs> here minus minus plus so plus omega sin omega t ft dt okay as we have been discussed that the functions whatever used in fourier transform fourier cosine transforms are signals so at infinite this signal is going to be vanish so f infinite f infinite that means f t will be zero when t tends to infinite that we have been discussed also in our last class itself okay so this value will be zero because here i written uh, for t <coughs> mod tends to zero tends to infinite that means uh, plus infinite or minus infinite ft will be equal to zero so same principle here we have to use okay so you just write ft equal to zero when t mod tends to zero 
okay so in the next step what it will be for your cosine transform of f dash t equal to here this part will be zero f of infinite will be zero so this term will be zero so this is minus cos zero is your one <coughs> So 2 by pi root over here minus is there minus 2 by pi root over into cos 0 is 1 into f of 0 f of 0 okay plus here omega taken outside omega 0 to infinity f of t f of t is there sin omega t dt so here you can see uh, that here another thing I forgot to write here you have to close the bracket here 2 by pi multiplied with this one again 2 by pi root over also multiplied with this one so i forgot to multiply you just write it 2 by pi root over okay 2 by pi root over into omega 0 to infinity f of t sin omega t dt so here you can see that 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity f of t sin omega t is nothing but f c omega f s omega for your uh, sine transform of f t okay 2 by pi 0 to infinity here you can see that for your sine transform of a function 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity f of t sine omega t dt so here we found uh, this term is your 2 by pi root over omega is there uh, you just concentrate 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity f of t sine omega t will be written as for your sine transform of the function f t will be written as f of s omega so same thing you have to write that will be that implies for your cosine transform of f dash t will be equal to minus 2 by pi root over into f of 0 f of 0 this term this term into omega is there omega into this one is your this term 2 by pi uh, root over integration of this one will be f s omega so plus is there omega fs omega okay so here we found that first derivative um, uh, of a function is there and we if we are going to operate the Fourier cosine transform upon that it will be minus 2 by pi root over f of 0 plus omega fs omega okay next we have to consider the second order derivative of the function ft and we have to apply Fourier cosine transform over that so what we can in general what we can write 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity f double dash t into cos omega t dt right here we have to consider the uh, by parts as i told that this is unknown function will be considered as the second function so this is the first function so 2 by pi is there cos omega t plus cos omega t into cos omega t into 0 to infinity f double dash t dt minus 0 to infinity derivative of the first function cos omega t then integration of second function f double dash t dt and whole dt okay whole integration <coughs> is equal to 2 by pi is there so here here you just write this is cos omega t okay cos omega t is written no problem this one cos omega t okay you can put it bracket no problem <coughs> so here cos omega t is there into here second derivative is there second order derivative integration will be one derivative will be removed we can get f dash t 0 to infinity minus 0 to infinity here the derivative of cos omega t is minus omega sin omega t into integration of f double dash t will be f dash t dt okay same procedure we have been followed here whatever we have been followed in our last lecture for sine uh, transform of derivative same procedure same uh, steps we considered okay so 2 by pi root over here we have to put the limit cos infinite uh, f dash infinite minus cos 0 into f dash 0 here minus minus plus omega sin omega t f dash t dt right okay here f dash infinite will be considered as 0 because we consider that f t is a function which is signal right if f t will be 0 at infinite and minus infinite itself so 
f dash t that f dash t will be also continuous so f dash infinite f dash infinite also will be equal to 0 right so here you can also write after this step you can also write that you just write this one f dash t will be equal to 0 when t mod tends to infinite okay so this term this term will be 0 and we are going to get this term only okay so minus is there cos 0 is 1 so 2 by pi root over f dash 0 minus 2 by pi root over into f dash 0 plus here 2 by pi root over will be multiplied with this term uh, omega is there omega into um, 2 by pi root over into 0 to infinity integration sin omega t f dash t dt right okay now carefully you have to write this step okay so this term is there as usual we have been written so plus omega into 2 by pi root over again we are going to consider the biparts for this integral right so put the uh, your square bracket again curly bracket for uh, this one is considered as first function sin omega t into 0 to infinity uh, integration of this one f dash t dt close the curly bracket minus here integration this one integration 0 to infinity okay first one this one is your integration 0 to infinite then st started a curly bracket for derivative of the first function into integration of the second function then close the curly bracket and dt for whole integration right okay now here we can found minus 2 by pi root over into f dash t as usual it has been written nothing changed plus omega is there 2 pi by root over here you can see that this integration will be only ft because integration of derivative will be that function only ft and we have to put 0 to infinity limit right minus here you can see that derivative of this one sin omega t will be omega cos omega t okay into integration of f dash t will be ft dt this is ft ft dt right so here uh, square bracket here is the square bracket okay next we have to put the limits here 0 to infinity is limit is there so we have to put it here here this term is written as usual omega is there omega 2 by pi root over 2 by pi root over that is the square bracket we have to put the limit so infinite sine infinite again infinite we have to put over here f of infinite minus 0 if i will put sine 0 into f of 0 and here omega taken outside omega 0 to infinity f of t cos omega t f of t cos omega t dt right okay now minus 2 by pi root over is there uh, into f dash 0 f dash 0 is there same thing it has been written here you can see that this whole term this two term will be 0 because f of infinite will be 0 why we already we have been discussed right and here sin 0 will be 0 so this entire two terms will be 0 only we are going to get this term okay so here minus omega is there and here omega is there so omega into minus omega so minus omega square 2 by pi root over into 0 to infinity f of t cos omega t dt right okay so we know that 2 by pi root over 0 to infinity f of t cos omega t is nothing but this one fc omega this is this is nothing but Fourier cosine transform of ft in short we can write fc omega and here omega square is there so that implies we found that Fourier cosine transform of a second order derivative of a function ft will be equal to what we found minus 2 by pi root over into f dash 0 minus omega square fc omega so here we found the two expressions for second order derivative uh, derivative of a function and its corresponding cosine transform is this one and for 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 the Fourier cosine transform of a first derivative of a function is this one so i suggest you have to remember these two expressions and also previous class we got the four two expressions that one for your sine transform of second order derivative of this function is this one and first order derivative is this one 
so these four expressions you have to remember which will be essential when we are going to discuss the application part of the Fourier uh, sine and cosine transform okay so likewise uh, you can also evaluate Fourier cosine transform of higher order derivatives suppose if triple dash P is there or uh, if C if uh, fourth, order, fourth order derivative of a function is there or any order derivative will be there you can also evaluate by using the same procedure but as per your BSE syllabus up to second order derivative is enough okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you